All right, appreciate it. See you guys ready? On, on your quarterback situation, if you had to get through this game with two, could you do it? Yeah, uh, we're going to work some guys out this afternoon, and we're going to continue to uh, look at all avenues to see if we can add to that spot. Um, so, obviously, we, we're we're good with the two we've got right now with Matt and Felipe, but uh, we'll add one at some point this week. Okay, um, so you going to share any of those names of the workout? No, no, I'm sure they'll get them out. If their, if their agents haven't already leaked them out, I'm sure they'll be out soon. Okay. And, uh, you see Eric Harris you know, today. Yeah, and it doesn't mean if we add somebody this week, it doesn't mean that we may not add another person next week. We'll continue to monitor that. Um, Eric, we didn't see Eric Harris at practice Yeah, we're just being cautious with Eric. Uh, don't expect it to be anything long-term at all. And uh, Marlon and uh, John Kaminsky look like they returned mm -hmm. today. They did, and they're uh, on schedule. So uh, it was good to have Marlon back out here. And John, we're going to be uh, super cautious when we have any injuries of those type. And so he's going through the protocols, and we'll, we'll be cautious with John. How is your uh, Hunter battle? I'm sorry. Um, You're fine, man. That's right. It's good. I, trust I'm, I'm, I, I, I promise you, I'll stay up here all night to answer questions. I swear to you. Um, How is your Hunter competition going out? And you've kind of gotten to yeah, it, it was good. You know, that was Dom's first game. Uh, you know, he didn't get a preseason last year. Uh, so. This is his first time punting in the NFL. And again, we, you, you hope you don't have a bunch of punts Sunday night, but it is, you know, if we do, uh, those guys will be competing. So that, that competition is still going, it's still going strong. So, uh, I'll tell you that, this is, that looks like a pretty nasty collision out there with TJ Green. When you see something like that, sure. what goes through your head? I mean, especially when it's like not a pattern practice. Right. Like yeah. So, I mean, yeah, the first thing is you, you make sure they're okay. You want to make sure it's nothing serious, and thankfully it was nothing serious because those things are right. When they, they, these guys, this game's so damn fast um, at every level. You know, when you go from high school to college and then you get to the NFL, it's, it, you know, when you guys down there, you guys are at practice and you guys have been down there on game day, I don't think, uh, you know, TV doesn't do it justice how fast these guys move. So certainly you want to make sure everybody's okay, and thankfully they, uh, both those guys were, but you, we're going to be cautious. You have to be. You got to be smart about that stuff, and so I'm going to make sure that they're okay. I'm not going to sit there and just riverside the drill. I'll, I'll take some time to make sure they're all right, and thankfully they are. Uh, Christian Wake looked like you left practice. Yeah, I, again, I, that's something I don't think is very serious. Um, you know, he's, he played in the, in the game Saturday night, um, had a big week of practice. So, again, we're just being cautious. Uh, you know, if somebody reports something, we're trying to make sure we get out ahead of it. Uh, and this week, as far as how you're handling it, are you treating this more like a game week? Are you treating it? And the game, are you planning on playing more starters than you have? Have you figured that out yet? Uh, we haven't made the final determination. Um, we'll go through the week as we're going to play, play everybody. And uh, we'll make that determination at the end of the, end of the week. But, you know, we'll prep. Uh, you know, as we're sitting here year one as a staff. Uh, we're certainly not going to go through some elaborate game plan. But it is nice because we do play on Sunday the way the calendar falls. We can at least get into a rhythm of our schedule as a staff and the players because we're doing it for the first time. But, uh, you know, I think it's like the old conventional wisdom of uh, the third game's address rehearsal. I think those days are behind for the most part, which you kind of look around the league. And for us, you know, we'll do a couple things, but we we're not going to sit here and go through some elaborate Cleveland game plan. Do you know yet if he's going to need surgery when that's going to happen? I don't. Um, you know, usually those guys, it, it's usually 10 to 12 days. It's usually pretty standard. Uh, for those type of injuries, from what I what I gather. What kind of spirits is he? I saw you talking to him out there. Uh, obviously, such an unfortunate situation. Sure. Uh, you know, it's it's hard. I mean, you go through. Uh, I always say there's no true blueprint for any kind of grief. You know, there's different griefs. Obviously, I'm not comparing it to something morbid, but that's tough for these players. They put their, um, you know, their heart and soul to this in this uh, profession, and they sacrifice a lot. And uh, yeah, obviously, he was pretty upset. And so, but AJ's a guy, he, you know, he's been very good behind the scenes. It's stuff that you guys never see. And uh, we like him around here as much as he can be around here. He, you know, he's going to be on IR, but uh, he still can provide some kind of value and he wants to be around. You got to see some plays out of your young backs in this last game. You got, it's kind of rounded you a nice little stable of running backs you got there. How do you see, how do you envision that competition going? Yeah, it'll go through um, the weekend for the most part. Um, Still like to get those guys carry. You know, I guess the silver lining is, and you're working on different things in those preseason games. Like I said, everybody's got different philosophies. Uh, we feel pretty solid about our strategy because you do get to evaluate. 
and thankfully we, we I guess I said the silver lining the other night, uh, we cut down the penalties, so we were able to still run the ball. We weren't in too many second and forevers. And, uh, you know, those guys are competing. They all ran pretty hard. Uh, certainly uh, all of them, Q, Caleb, uh, Hawk, and, and Foreman. So, and then obviously uh, we haven't seen CP and Mike run yet, but there's good competition there. When you um, bring in a quarterback at, at this stage, what are some of the difficulties just trying to, or maybe without giving away trade secrets, like how do you prep somebody to sure. having to accelerate? Yeah, uh, you just, again, it depends on if it's somebody that's a veteran, you know, they've been in the camp, haven't they been in the camp? Regardless, you know, if you try to say, oh, this guy's been in a similar system, the language is different. Uh, you know, what you're calling certain routes, maybe the mechanics, a little bit maybe how you read something. So uh, a lot of different philosophies. Uh, you know, I go back, I think it was positive. It was 2014. You know, we played a Thursday night game, and we went into, uh, when I was with the Titans, I think it was Jaguars. I think we had Whitehurst was the only quarterback we had, and we had Jordan Palmer. I think we signed him on a Monday. He had to go on Thursday night to uh, be the backup. And so I, you know, I just remember spending that whole Monday trying to teach him, you know, the protections and all that stuff. And to Jordan's credit, you know, he had a little box of plays if he had had to go in there, and he didn't. Um, you know, with the whole week, you can, you can certainly limit it. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't want to just, I think it's unfair to throw somebody out there and say, here, here's the entire game plan. You better be able to operate. So depending on who we sign, you know, they'll, they'll be ready to go depending on what we, you know, what we decide to do. Uh, the, the, the two young uh, offensive linemen, uh, Jalen Mayfield and, and Drew, what did the, the practice and the game tape show you, and how do you feel like they've uh, developed, especially lately? Yeah, that's, um, that's kind of why we're doing what we're doing here, Scott, because it's uh, those reps are invaluable for those guys. Whether they're, you know, they, they got to play week one, uh, you know, you, feel, you build more confidence when they're out there and they're, and they're playing in those game-like situations and in the practices last week, we feel pretty good about the way they're developing. They're rookies. They're going to make mistakes. Uh, but you're, you're letting them play through some things. And th they, like I said, there's nothing that can replace the experience of, of going in there and, and getting to those games with those guys. Since you haven't seen a lot of your starters yet at this point, how much of this roster do you feel like you're comfortable in saying, OK, these, are, these guys are, are my guys on the roster, and just how much you're still figuring out through this yeah. week? Of, yeah, how it fits. Um, yeah, like I said, we, we feel like we've had pretty good competition. I mean, some of them are painfully obvious, like Matt, Jake, Brady. So, you know, you, I don't know, you, you're pretty comfortable with at least a third of it. Anything else? All right, appreciate it, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank